Hi everybody, Tikkuni Zohar again, as usual. And I would like first to read the pray that we read before we teach Tikkuni Zohar. ריבון העולמים ואדוני האדונים, אב הרחמים והסליחות. מודים אנחנו לפניך אדוני אלוהינו ולא אבותינו. בקידה ובהשתחווינה שכבדנו את תורתך ולעבדך עבודת הקודש. מי נתת לנו חלק מסודות תורתך רק תשאל, מהנו מחיינו אשר עשית עמנו חסד גדול כזה. על כן, אנחנו מפילים את אחדוננו לפניך שתיבחול ותסלח על כל רטותינו ועוונותינו. ואל יהיו עוונותינו מבדילים בינינו לפניך וכנירצון מלפניך אדוני אלוהינו ולא אבותינו שתכוננת לבבינו. נירתך ולאהבתך ותקשיב לאוזניך לדברינו אלה ותפתח לבבינו ערל וסודות תורתך ויהיה לנו מעודנו זה נחת רוח לפני כזה כבודיך קריח ניחוח ותאציל עלינו אור מקור נשמתנו בכל בחינתנו ושיתנוצצו ניצוצות עבדיך הקדושים אשר על ידם קלית דבריך אלה בעולם וזכותם וזכות עבודם וזכות תורתם ובאותם קדושתם יעמוד לנו הבנתי קשור לדברים אלו, וזכותם תאיר עינינו למשהו אנו לומדים, כי במר נעים זה בארץ ישראל, גל העיניי ואביתה נפלאות בתורתך. כי אדוני ייתן לך חוכמה בפי, דעת ותבונה יהיו רצון מרפי, ויגאון לבי לפניך, אדוני צורי וגואלי, meditation from the ארי, before we start תיקוני זוהר. Good. Now let's continue. So we are in verse כ"ה. חוזים ונביאים מסתרם נצח דעוד, דביון כלילן טרין שמען דינון יוד כו"ף קי וויד עדני, דבון תמני אדוון לקבל תמני ספרי נביאים, ונביאים טרין העשר לקבל עשר ספרים, קבלי חזאי יחזקאל עשר מאות, צדיקים מסעד צדיק על כל אלן, כלומר לא תיקח האם על הבנים. Just to remind you, we're still handling the subject, do not take the mother away from the sons, that's a little translation, and it's related to the bird sitting in the nest. But of course, the Tikkun HaZohar is taking it to all new levels of what it means the nest, what it means the mother, and why the Tikkun HaZohar mentioning sometimes eggs, sometimes chicks, sometimes the bird itself, or what he call here the sons. And we study it before, and hopefully you listen to it, to what we study before. And I would like to continue for, with the Rav Brandwein explanation on verse uh, 25. The prophet, or in the people with the ability to force sin, we know that the prophet coming from Netzach Ve'od, the Sfirot, which are representing in our body the legs, the two legs. Asher ba'im klulim bet shemot avaya ve'adonai. And we know, says Rabbrandain, that the name Yudke Vavke, the Tachigrammaton, and the word Adonai, which is another name for God, are basically combined. One represents, of course, those of you who study Kabbalah for a long time, the Avaya, the Tachigrammaton, representing the male aspect of, of the energy, of the divine, where Adonai represents the female aspect of the divine, which means the receiving force. והם במשולב היינו ביסוד המייחדם יוד כו"ף כפלוס אדני. And that נצח כן עוד, when they combine into יסוד, into the next sphere and line, it becoming combination of the יוד כו"ף כ, which is the touch of Gamaton, with the name אדוני. The יוד כו"ף כ has four letter, the אדוני has four letter, and we combine it together and become one name, which is eight letter name, which is combined of those Four letters and four letters together. Asher ba'em shmona otiot neged shmona sifre nevim. Why is it eight? Because there is exactly eight book of prophet within the Torah, within the Bible. Kitre asar nechshav lesefer echad. Even that there is the word tre asar, he says it's considered like one book. ונביאים שהם נצחות הם שניים, הרי הם עשר נגד עשר הספירות. So you have eight books of profit, we have תרי עשר, we have another book called תרי עשר, so together we have the eight book, תרי עשר is basically uh, uh, one, but because it's נצח ועוד, which is the profit, so eight book, of the prophet with Netzach Ve'od, you have ten. Ten represent the ten spheros, tell us 
תיקון הזוהר, ונגד עשר הספירות, ראי יחזקאל עשר מראות. For that reason, Ezekiel saw ten vision related to ten ספירות. צדיקים הם מצד ספירת יסוד, זה נקרא צדיק. And we always remember that the צדיק come from יסוד. על כל אלה נאמר לא תיקח האם על הבנים. For that reason say to us, the תיקוני זוהר, don't take the mother away from the boys. Remember the mother related to the שכינה. Do not take the שכינה, do not take the female aspect of, bo- of God from the שכינה. פירוש. Let's understand את סיירה ברנדמן. כי שורש הנבואה הוא בנצח ועוד. Where prophecy come from, נצח ועוד of the air and pin. The נצח and hod of the air and pin. ומתפשט עד הנוקווה. And it's spread out till the נוקווה tree, the female aspect. ועל ידי המקבלים הנביאים, לכן אומר חוזים ונביאים מסתרא זה נצח ועוד, שמשם שורש הנבואה. So the roots of prophecy coming always from נצח ועוד. דבעון כללי נתרגל נשוען, היינו הוויה בנצח ואדוני בעוד. When you take the two ספירות נצח and עוד, נצח represented by י' כו"ק, תת של גמדן, and עוד, the ספירה of עוד, which is the left leg, represented by the name אדוני. והם נקראים שחקים הטוחנים מים נוקבים לצדיקים, שהוא יסוד המכריע מייחד אותם מהירים ושולב. And they consider almost like the grinding The grinding heavens. So heaven is grinding together. And what is it grinding exactly? Man la tzadikvim. Maim nukvim. Meaning a nourishment of energy for the righteous people. Remember righteous related to Yesod, which is the next fira, the next one in order. And that's why it's considered Yesod. Otam yirim b'shulav yud kevav kei. with Adni together. So when you combine the name from Netzach, which is Yud Kevavke, Tanshi Gamatan, with the name of Hod, Adonai, you combine it together, this is the level of Yesod. Um Yesod de Meirim Malchut, and from Yesod they shining to the next Sphira in line, which is Malchut. Um Asher Nemar, Vedvim Trin, Ki Netzach Hod em Bebet, Ketzavot, Netzach Beyemin, Vehod Besmol, Veyemin, Besmol, Nem Tamit Sotrim, Zeh Zeh. And we know, Whenever you have right and left, they always contradict each other. Because right is different than the left, and let's explain it. Kekav yemin nimshach mebkhinat aliyat malchut lebina. When we talk about right column, what does that mean? It means that the malchut went up to bina. The desire to receive went up to the original form of receiving, which has sharing in it without going to the details. It's called bina. That called right column. Why? Because when Malchut went up to Bina, we removed the Gimel Rishonot, we removed the Keter, Chokma, and Bina of Malchut. And it's no longer, because Malchut represents all about left column, all about receiving. But when you are elevating the all receiving into Bina, You're cancelling the engine of receiving at that moment. Kaf small, left column, is representing or come from when the Malchut going back to its place. The Gilui Agar, and then it revealed the Gimel Rishonot, it revealed the Keter Chokhmah Bina, and then there is no value anymore for the right column. Because the light is so strong that the right column who has no Keter Chumamina, which is a weaker light, but the light that we can actually connect to, is no longer there. And the question you have to ask yourself, what do you want in your life? All the blessing that you cannot connect to, or some of the blessing that you can connect to? Funny question, right? When Malchut went down, From Bina, אמנם מבחינת מחזה ולמעלה זה זהר, אמפין יונקת מבחינה שכנגדה למעלה מחזה דאריך. אמרנו השם על בישים, אבא ואימא שבהן אין היוד, שהיא מלכות יוצאת לעולם מאוויר שלהם, ואינם מקבלים פעולת כף שמאל ונשארים בחסדים מכוסים. We need to explain those details, a lot of details here. It say, after מלכות came down from Bina, what happened? בחינת מחזה ולמעלה, from the chest and above of the ארנפין, יונקת מבחינה שנגדה למעלה מחזה דאריך ארנפין. 
Whatever happened in the Er and Pin happened in Arich and Pin, happened in the upper level. What happened in Arich and Pin? Asher Shamal Bishim Abba Vima Shabayim. That Abba Vima, father and mother, what we call in the Sphirot, in the upper Sphirot, are addressing each other. Shabayim en ayut shi malchut yotzet laolam me'avir. We know when there is a lower level, the word avir mean air, A I R, avir, air, oxygen. If we take the yud away from there, it will become or, meaning light. So you tell us the tikkun azor, en ayud shi malchut yisrael olam me'avir. There is no problem in Abba Viva in the upper world with all those procedures that are happening in the lower world. And for that reason, nothing really changed. Everything started with Chasadim Bechusim. Everything started with a complete cover. So whatever is above the chest of the Eranpin, which is Arich and Pin, which is Abba Vima Ilain, there the differences between right column and left column not exist. Because the right column is not being cancelled if the left column exists. They can coexist at the same time. But whatever take a place from the chest of Zeran Pin and below, that there is right column and left column, which are Netzach ve'od, em yonkim ibchina asher k'negdam mina chazev lemata. They are receiving for whatever happened from the chest of Zeran Pin and below. They are Rechan Pin asher shaman bishim Yisrael sabor utvuna. And in that level, we are addressing something called Yisrael sabor utvuna. Tvuna is the lower level of Bina, and Yisrael sabor is the lower level of Chokhmah. And there, the left column being coming to full expression, and for that reason, the yud leaving the word avir, meaning air or oxygen. What does that mean? So, what they left the left column being activated, the right column gets left column being activated, the right column gets cancelled. And that's what it means, the yud is no longer there. Because once you have a full revelation of the light, there is no reason for the candle. You know, if, if, if there is no electricity in your town, and you go with a candle to find the thing, or flashlight, and then the light come back, electricity come back, you no longer have value for that flashlight or for that candle. So the candle called katnut. Or the light of the sun called Gadlut. So, the left column is the full capacity of light that we cannot handle. The right column is whatever we can handle. I'm not talking about what's important now. I'm talking about the procedure of what's happening. When I get to the left, there is another one that is not going to be able to handle it. But also, in the Israel Sabah, there is no one that is going to be able to handle it. There is no one that is going to be able to handle it. There is no one that is going to be able to handle it. Tell us, Rav Randwein, let me tell you another secret. Even in the lower level of Binah, that's called Tvuna, and the lower level of Chokhmah, that's called Israel Saba, even they have upper and lower. And we call them Panim Ve'achoraim, front and backward. Asher b'pechinat Panim, the Israel Saba u Tvuna, the face of Israel Saba and Dvuna, which is the lower part of Binah and Chokhmah, Sholet Gamken, Kav Yemin, Ben Ayud Yotzad Ma'avir. So if you take the Panim, if you take the front of Israel Saba, and I'm not talking about front as a physical front, I'm talking about the upper level of the lower level, the upper level of the lower level. I know it's complicated, but all what you have to do is always subdivision, subdivision, subdivision. There, the right column and left column are still okay. So it's the same like Abba V'ima Ilain. It's the same like Abba V'ima. 
ולכן כשנצח עוד דזה רנבים מקבלים עם פנים ישראל סבא ותבונה, so when נצח ועוד receiving from the face of ישראל סבא, which is the lower level of חוכמה, אין תבונה, the lower level of בינה, it still יש עמידה לקווים מין, still make the right column not being cancelled, שהוא נצח גם אחרי יציאת קו השמאל, even after the left column, כי מקבל כוחו מבחינת אשר כנגדו בקווי ימין, the פנים ישראל סבא ותבונה, so even the face of the lower level of בינה על חוכמה, which is below the chest of זהר ענפין, still are okay with the idea of the left and right working together. ולפיכך יש בנצח הוד דה זרן פין בית בחינות. For that reason, a נצח and a הוד of זרן פין has two levels. One, אם הם בבחינת אחוריים, if we talking about אחוריים in backward, or from the back, דהיינו בשעה שהם מקבלים באחוריים דה סרס אבו תבונה. If they receiving from the אחוריים, If they receiving from the back of Israel Sabo Udvuna, from the lower level of the chest of the air and pin, that what we call the receiving light from the lower level of Binah that we call Tvuna, and from the lower level of Rukhwa that we call Israel Saba, as with Batela Netzach and the Yitzhak Kavazmon, only in that place the right column which we call Netzach get cancelled because of the left column being revealed to Od. But, אם מקבלים מן הפנים דיסרל סבא, נשאר רע שלהם כקו ימין. אבל אם זה receiving from the face of ישראל סבא ותבונה, then of course they continue to stay right and left column together, the same like it's happening in the upper world. וזה אמרו נביאים וטרים, היינו שכעת הם במצב אשר שניהם מהירים. For that reason, we say now, they're both shining. כי מבחינת הפנים שולטים שניהם, ואין אחד יכול לבטל את השני. They cannot cancel each other when it's coming from the face. of ישראל סבא ותבונה, ולכן כמה מבצעים מאחדם מקיים מהרתם שהוא יסוד, and that's why יסוד הוא combined two of them, משלב הרתם וחסדי נצח מאירים, and for that reason, the, the shining of the mercy of נצח shining from above to below, והרת גר דעוד, and the גימל הראשונות, the קטר חוכמה בינה, that come from the left column, that we call it עוד, in this frame of reference, מלמטה למעלה, כך מקבלים את הערת נצח עוד, and that's how we receive both energy in the same time. Sound profound, sound difficult, sound incredible, but I'm telling you, invest some time to understand that because it's kind of uh, important. I'm jumping now to verse 26. ועוד אלי נעסקין בהוראה את הלשמה, ונתחיל פקודת דינון תריאג מצוות דתלן ונשען י"ק ו"ק, כי אין וין בעת קלה. כדי לאחדה בעול נשם השם בשכינה, כבארנש דמתייחד עם בת זוגה, בכל איברים דילה, להפקה זרה מעלי את מר בעול לא תיקח חיים על הבנים, ואילין דלה משתלב בהוראית הלשמעת מר בעול שלח תשלח את האם, את לרבות שם השם, צלם המאהו בארנש. תן לה תיקונה זו. More, the one who study Torah for the right reason. Right reason. שומרים מצוותיה דו דה מצוות שהם תרי"ג מצוות and they do the 630 מצוות התלויים משם הוויה that coming directly from the name of God that touch a garment them כענבים באשכול like a grapes in the vine וכוונתו כדי לייחד בהם לשם הוויה שהוא זה רנפין משכינתה is like to unite the name י' כ' ו' כ' with his שכינה with his female שהיא מלכות which is מלכות כי אדם המאחד עצמו עם בת זוגו בכל איבריו like a man and a woman becoming one with all the organs and through that they're giving birth to great children. About those people that say do not take the mother away from the boys. The one who doesn't study the Torah for the right reason, they study Torah but not for the right reason. On them, it say, you should get the mother away from them, get away the Shekhinah away from them. Et, et, l'arbot shem avaya, shu ze rampin, asher u mistalek im ha'em oto adam. And it say, not only the Shekhinah should leave them, even the name of God should leave them, the touch of Gamatan. Shocking. Shocking. Somebody practice spirituality, practice the Torah, practice everything, but do it for the wrong reason. Nikunazor said, may the Shekhinah leave him, may God leave him. שוקינג, רייט? איזה אקספלנט, תיקוני הזוהר. פירוש, כי תרי"ג המצוות, 
638 mitzvot divided to 248 mitzvot ase thing you should be doing spiritually and 365 mitzvot what you shouldn't be doing and everything is coming from the name of God how do we know that? there is a verse that says this is my name forever if you look at the word my name and you combine it with yud k with the first two letters of the Tachi Grammaton, you're going to get 365, which is the exact 365 mitzvot you shouldn't be doing, the thing you shouldn't be doing. And then the verse say, zichri, and this is my memory, le dor dor, for all the generation to come. You take the word zichri, my memory, you combine it with the last two letters of the Yud Kevavke, the last two letters of the Tachi Grammaton, how much you got? 248 of the mitzvot you shouldn't be doing, of the thing you shouldn't be doing. There's two levels in the male and the female. When the nukva, when the female aspect, when the receiving aspect is in connection with the pin and the chasadim sholtim, and the mercy is controlling the nukva, and the mercy controlling the female, because chasadim is coming from the male. Mercy coming from the male and receiving coming from the female. Kmo bezeher anpin. Vagam sharat chokma klula ba chasadim. Elu sheba nukva. Mekol makom. Mishak darata mimala lemata mimne shikara bu chasadim velo chokma. So when we combine, when we combine the nukva, the receiving force, the female, together with zeher anpin, then it's only covered by mercy and there is no chokhmah there even there is light of wisdom there is strong light of wisdom that represents judgment it's mostly chasadim mostly mercy this level called vav k the last two letters of the yud k vav k the last two letters of the touch grammaton hopefully you will see a picture and you can see what vav k is the avaya ki chasadim and vav k she also vav k so the chasadim, the mercy, is only vav k. It's only the last two letters. But, second way of understanding it, is shechokma shuusod yud k, mitgalei banugva. There is another aspect, when the first two letters is revealing within the female, which is, what is the first two letters? Yud k. The first two letters of the Tachi Grammatan. Ba'afal pi shekam kan, ibe zivugim zeher anpin. Even here, she is a connection to zeher anpin to the male aspect, which calls the Eran Pin, even though, so the Chokhmah, the Baruch Hu, is not the Chasadim, the Eran Pin. Even though, so the Chokhmah is, of the Malchut, is controlling, and not the mercy of the Eran Pin. And we know that the wisdom, the light of wisdom, is not coming from above to below. And that's why it's written, this is my name forever. And it's written forever without the letter Vav. So when it says you can read it in different ways. Le'olam means for eternity, or for the universe, or for the world. So if you take the Vav away, it sounds like Le'alim, to make it disappear. Because we have to be careful not to connect to energy that's coming from above to below, because it's awakening selfishness. And that's the root of all the, un, the 365 things you shouldn't be doing according to the Torah. So when God tells people don't do a certain thing, it's because those representing the 365 type of energy that connect to the light of wisdom, that connect to the energy that's coming from above to below. Shmi im Yud K. For that reason, the sage is telling us, my name connect to Yud K. The first two letters. And together, 365. Lot ki Yud K Because don't do, they try to prevent us not to connect to the light of wisdom, which eventually make us selfish. And that's the Gimel Rishonot. And that's the three Sfirot, that we try to eliminate, not to cancel everything. And besod, ze shmi le'olam. You tzachim la'alim. When it says, this is my name forever, forever mean le'olam, but it also mean to disappear. Try to hide it. Ve'lo la'amshich mi'mala le'mata. Make sure you're not acting 
on those 365 lot aseh. אבל הערת החסדים, by the light of mercy, which is the last two letters of the name of God, the Tashi Gramatan, הוא מצווה להמשיך למעלה למטה. It's your responsibility to do. So if we are saying, person should not kill, it's all about manners. It's about because person should not kill or not steal, has to do with the youth K, has to do with the first two letters of the Tashi Gramatan, and you, you, you're getting benefit by not doing it. But if you say, go and help somebody or love the neighbor as thyself, this is what you should be doing, that's come from the chasadim, that's come from the mercy, and we need to activate that type of light. And it says, this is my memory from generation to generation, with the two letters of the Yud Kevav, okay? Ramach, Shem Ramach mitzvot b'chinat zachar, amashpia nimana lemata. So, 248 represents the male. Now, what is this to do with the male? It's influence and give and sharing from above to below, corresponding to the 248 type of light, 248 mitzvot that you should be doing. V'na'arat rochman nikret anavim. Light of wisdom, we call it grapes. V'chet shelet zadat ayam ashtachta anavim. What was the scene of Eve? She was squeezing grapes. For that reason, we drink wine on Shabbat, on holidays, as a memory for that original sin in the grapes. She purushah b'shachat ha-chokhmah mimala lemata. Because she drew light from above to below. She mizeh ba'a mita la'olam. And that's what brought death to the world. Besot b'yom ochlecha mimono b'ot tumat. For that reason, God said to Adam, in the day that you're gonna decide to eat from, from this tree, you're gonna die. וזה אומר, ועוד אלין דעסקין, אנו שולחים חסידים וחומה שבתורה לשמה. So when people study the Torah לשמה, study it for the right reason, and they're working on not to draw the wrong light in the wrong places. Meaning, whatever they do, they do it for the right reason, with a full understanding that whatever they do is with that consciousness that I don't want to create a left column energy. כי כל כוונתם בתורה ומצוות היא כדי להרדה ביום שם י... שם השם, שהוא הרת החסדים בשכינה שבה הרת החוכמה. So the people who study Torah, like what we do now, when we do mitzvot, what we're doing every day, all day, our meditation is to combine the light of wisdom with the light of mercy. This is really the goal. והחוכמה תאיר ממטה למעלה בסוד זה שמי. And we are activating the light of wisdom with the word זה שמי. עם י"ק כלהלים. So their job is להעלים, to disappear, to, can, to cancel, not to cancel, to cover, to cover that light. וחסדים יאירו ממעלה למטה, but with the mercy, the light of mercy, we want to activate it from above law. So like what a Kabbalist does, a Kabbalist does two things. Covering the strong light, the cold light of wisdom, and activating the light of mercy. כברנש דוד יחד. And it's the same thing like when a man becomes with a woman. Let's understand what it means. And the reason is, with his wife, is basically to give birth to children. He doesn't want to have a pleasure for himself. If he has a pleasure for himself, the kids become like that. So he does things that give him pleasure, but he does it for the right reason, then it's okay. עת לרבות שם השם, כי אפילו החסדים המהירים בזמן הקטנון בימין, לבר נקראים שם השם. זה מה אמרו בברנש, פסל לעץ יבש בחמת שלא ישתלל בו תשמע. So when people not doing things that which are already good, still, it's already good, it's already amazing. They study Torah, they do mitzvot, but they don't do it for the right reason, then unfortunately, say Tikkuni HaZohar, what happened to them, they become Nesa Le'etz Yavesh. They become a tree which is dry. You know how a tree which is dry looks like? It's broken. It's falling apart. It's eating by, by the worm. It's, it's all bad news. So when you look around, it's tree. But when you look inside, there is nothing there. So whenever you study, even now when you listen to that study, meditate it. When you study, you study it for the right reason to draw 
the light that is needed and to cancel the light which is not needed. I'm going to stop here until next time that we're going to go into another subject. So thank you.